Well, hey, Gun Maniacs. Today we'll be reviewing the RGM 79 SP GM Sniper 2 Ver Anime, another mobile suit in the Robot Spirits line, and another Ver Anime, so it's a redo of one. Let's see how good it looks. All right, and let's get this thing unboxed. So again, this is kind of a second iteration of one from before. I'll show that here in a second, but just wanted to take the time, you know, to get a look at it and see, you know, does this look like what you remember from 0080 or from what you remember the GM Sniper 2 to look like? You know, it's that modified uh, GM body, you know, from the, uh, the 0080 series, but then given a cool sniper treatment. All right, a quick look at the design of this. Uh, really like, you know, the little visor look where you get to see the GM head on here. And I like how it works on here perfectly fine. It uh, actually came with a sticker sheet to put these decals on. I put these on um, kind of like how it shows on the box, but also similar to the uh, Gumpla version I have that I'm going to show here in a second. So since this is a newer release, I am hoping for some better articulation compared to the old one, um, you know, some modern engineering we can see is, for instance, in the arm, how uh, you can see where it tucks in to allow, you know, greater than a 90 degree uh, bend at the elbow. Similarly, on the on the back here, so if we look at where the joint of uh, the leg is and how that looks, it's actually different from the me mechanical nature of articulating it. You can just see where uh, the plastic pieces tuck in. And I really like this style of engineering. It helps it keep the ver anime look, like the look it's trying to achieve uh, without worrying, having to worry about the mechanics of the joints. For comparison, here is the previous version uh, of that GM Sniper. You can see it's a different blue. You know what decals that maybe were included with this that I could put on um, and just overall different design in terms of the scale of the proportions and the colors and something else for fun. Here is the GM Cypher 2 high grade uh, that I built and detailed. I really love the way this looks. Um, I could have done a little better with the matte top coat on there. Uh, you can tell with, you know, all the, the rough look on there. Uh, but again, different colors, especially if you were to look at all of them they all have sort of different colors going on but you know they're supposed to be from the the same uh factory i uh you know i have the numbers here like i have on these two need to get the two on here i'll probably just grab it from this one so from these which one do you prefer i mean i'm kind of biased because of the detail i put into this this is the high grade uh, i painted the gun uh yeah did all the little detail yeah even on the back there look is there's even some silver in the thrusters. Okay, I'm actually kind of proud of this one. Totally forgot about it. <laughs> this one just seems like a joke, to be honest. And it's that older Robot Spirits articulation anyway. So while it can do a lot of movement, it's kind of floppy and it doesn't really hold that well. But other than those areas we talked about, another big deal when it comes to the articulation has to do with the head. Um, sometimes it's limited. And in this case, it almost seems like it is. Yeah, it doesn't seem to... Okay, there... Uh, yeah. Okay. So look at the back here. There's that little part where that plastic can move in to, to try to give it more range, but it only does a very little bit until where you see that line pop up. So it looks like it would do more. I don't want to break it. And that's not too much of an up. Um, let's see down. Yeah, not too much here. It doesn't have any like separate piece. Sometimes the, uh, the head will have a extra neck joint or something in there unless mine stuck or something that's not that much range but really i mean everything else works really good it has some of the crazy arm articulation we're seeing with these uh, smaller figures a skirt piece came off which always happens um everything you know about this is cool um, you know despite those little uh, limitations with articulation because it can get the poses you want so let's take a look at the accessories it's easier to just dump them except when they fall okay yeah these pieces uh, that come off the backpack. Yeah, those are the easiest to lose from these little figures. Okay, like the trash person I am, I just dumped everything here. Um, okay, let's take a look at this gun. I think it looks, you know, pretty neat. The way it's painted, it has a few tones on it. What's interesting, though, is the look of the previous one. Now, obviously, this is going to be ver anime, but I got to say, I do like the detail and the way that this one looks. All right, we get a typical GM gun. I like that... Uh, yeah, this one has it. More weapons, the better. We've got a shield, uh, some storage racks on here. Yeah, the different uh, shield types that it can use. Um, 
some uh, pieces for storage that we'll get at to here shortly. And then the beam saber handles, an extra little antenna piece. Uh, and as for hands, uh, typical stuff we always see with these GMs. You've got some open, relaxed hands, uh, closed fists, uh, trigger finger, you know, relaxed, uh, dynamic, all that stuff. So that's cool and all. And this thing is as you would expect. But there's one thing about it that I think is just with mine that I have a problem with that uh, I don't seem to have on my other GMs. And that has to do with... Uh, putting the beam sabers here on the back. So on this uh, left side right here, it goes in fine and it sticks there, but the right side doesn't, and I don't know. I was testing it out. I don't know if it was the inside of the handle or if it was the storage rack on it, the unit itself. So I put some blue sticky tack in there. I use that a lot to hold things together. That way, I was able to get that on and have it stay. It's just one of those things where when you're holding it, if you're going to then reach for it, you could potentially accidentally knock off the back unknowingly. I have done that with the previous one. So it's just something to, to keep an eye out for. All right, my personal fav feature has to do with the storage. So I show those little blue pieces I took off. Uh, those go on either side of the backpack. What that allows you to do is, oh, and look, I just knocked off. Look, look, you just knock them off. I'm telling you, I, I don't like this design, not even in universe. Uh, so we've got this funky looking piece here that can plug right in there on the back. And then we've got this that goes right here. Uh, that's where you got your storage. Uh, the gun, I think, just fits in here like that. Looks great. The other side, let's see. Sniper, I totally forgot how this was. I think something like this. Yeah, there we go. So just like my previous video with that the Yukajima uh, GM that had the weapon rack, this does the same thing, and I love it. I love it when these mobile suits can hold all their weaponry that they use on them. And we also have a storage rack for the shield as well. There's that connector piece you can put on. You know what? If you remember from my video with the Yukajima GM, I couldn't get this piece onto the backpack because it kept popping off. Uh, in this case, it works right. And, you know, and then there's that issue I had with the beam saber. So it's one of those quality control things I think are super small. But when the plastic where things are supposed to attach to each other are just off by just a hair, uh, it could turn something premium into not so premium. And you know what? Trying to get everything on the back doesn't work. So, uh, you know, not that it has to, but it would have been nice. Oh, you know, I forgot there's two thruster parts to this uh, because when I do those unboxings, uh, I actually open them prior and I used those thruster parts on another figure. So those are included, just not in this video. Uh, and also you get a hand tree that's in like a separate plastic bag and then, yeah, the typical effect parts we get. So really, if you were to compare these two, we have the new Ver anime and we have the older version. Well, I think the older version looks cool. It's still an awesome looking robot. This new one really does a good job with the blues, just with the way it looks in general, um, especially the engineering when it comes to articulation and being able to sculpt what the joints would look like in universe without having to modify it to work as a toy. Um, so yeah, I mean, it looks really great, you know, especially alongside the high grade, you know, the high grade is really just like an interpretation as the model kit takes precedent over the anime, uh, I think typically when we see these. But it's cool to have an option that is for anime. So anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, I love to add this to my collection. I love GMs, sniper types, anything Federation, really. Uh, the only problem is with those back beam sabers that come off, but I love the storage racks. I'm a fan of that thing. Brings me back, you know, to toys from the 80s. So thanks for watching. Thanks to the supporters that make this possible. Check the links in the description for ways you can support this channel if you're into that. Or check out our Discord. We have a lot of fun there. But until next time, be cool.